All right, three, two, one, boom. You are looking through the lens, my friends. Trademark that. Uh, welcome to Energy Boom 101, uh, where uh, this is the confluence, of course. That is where meets the, uh, the forces of crude and cannabis, and they polish the uh, lens of optimism and compassion where we, I'm going to get through this, where we uh, connect the crude to consciousness, one gush at a time. Uh, we also have been known to chase the echoes of existence, one gush at a time. Back up, check this out. Boom! Here you are. Boom, you. Midday report uh, from the confluence, which uh, I can tell you is not a whole heck of a lot going on. We'll go straight to it right here. Uh, if I can get this thing to focus, you're going to start seeing uh, stocks traded on Wall Street. Well, sometimes it focuses, sometimes it doesn't. Trust me, though. Just listen to what I have to say. It's getting crazy. Uh, the confluence today. Uh, let's start at the top of the key. Um, let's, uh, let's go through the four-leaf clover. That's our collection of four different marijuana stocks currently um, demonstrating the uh, unfurling shape of the uh, budding marijuana industry on Wall Street. And they, let's start us off with hemp. Down 4% today. Uh, medical marijuana. Street name, MJNA, down 3% today. Fought, great. Uh, Grow Life, known as Grow Life. Uh, street name, P-H-O-T, down um, 3% today. <laughs> I'm sorry, folks, I got distracted. Uh, this place is unbelievable. Uh, and then uh, CBIS, that's Cannabis Science. Look at that, up one, oh shit, now they're up just, uh, they just changed from being up 1% to being up half a percent. But here's the deal, of the four-leaf clover, you got three exhales, you got one inhale, um, so, you know, it's, it's okay. The green boom is still very early, and this thing's out of the bag, and you got nothing but time to figure it out, trust me. Um, let's now shift from uh, the cannabis community to the uh, crude oil uh, industry, and let's see what's going on there. Anything big? Yep. Oh, shit. We got two little mini gushers. This is wicked. Osage, our friends Osage, uh, drilling the uh, Mississippi Lime play in Logan and Payne County. They're up 7% right now. Um, God knows what's going on. No one knows anymore. We just follow them. And then uh, our friend down there, APCO Oil, uh, code name APAGF, up 5%. Now remember, APCO is the really fun oil company that's owned by uh, WPX out of Tulsa, which was spun off of the Williams Company's Oklahoma Royalty, Oklahoma Oil Royalty, the Williams family, the Williams Companies. Anyway, if you unwind this uh, gibberish I'm mentioning all the way down now to uh, following me, you go from Williams Companies spinning off, uh, Williams Company uh, uh, spin off into WPX. WPX owns 77% of A. APAGF, ticker symbol APAGF, which is called APCO Oil. They drill in a very high-risk area of Argentina. They were once at $90 a share. They're now down about 15 bucks a share, but today they're popping 5%. Could they get back to $90 a share? I guess so. I don't know. Don't ask me. Why are you even watching this show? It's only three minutes into it, kids, and we've already covered the uh, four-leaf clover here at the uh, Energy Boom 101. And we're moving our way through the, uh, that was the cannabis uh, sector. Oh, shit. You got the bells. Hang on. All right, that's all we're going to give us. Uh, so let's continue and see what else is going on in the crude sector. Uh, unit drilling, we talked about them yesterday, a really fun, interesting little uh, small but vertically integrated oil company backed by George Kaiser up in Tulsa. Follow them, kids. Uh, they're just up 1% today. Continental, that's Hank Ham, kicking, it, kicking A and taking names all over. Uh, just sitting idle at 50, uh, just you know, sort of sitting idle. Still great long-term uh, prospects. Uh, Chesapeake, uh, founded by Mr. McClendon and Mr. Ward, and then uh, we, if you have time, we can tell you the whole story about how uh, a great little uh, press dump occurred that uh, pretty well had uh, had those guys run town. It's all orchestrated, though. It's all big uh, Wall Street orchestrated money. It's great, great story. Um, I'll tell you the same time I'll tell you the limo story. So Chesapeake is just hanging out. And then Sandridge, uh, remember when I said Chesapeake was funded by Tom Ward and, uh, and Aubrey McClendon? Okay, well, so Tom Ward then spun off, uh, left Chesapeake, got a little outfit out of Amarillo called Riata, moved into Oklahoma City, built up Sandridge, picked up the largest uh, position in the uh, Mississippi line play. Uh, uh, built in the water disposal system that would make those wells economical. He knew that before anyone else, and you're going to hear those quotes later on when I read you an article in today's Oklahoman uh, about the earnings report from Sandridge. But here's all you need to know. Sandridge is a great pure play in the Mississippi Lime. Their production is still um, coming along, but if it continues to uh, increase, and I bet it does, I bet it only gets better, then you'll see just this slow following from Wall Street and every quarterly report if production increases then you'll see shares move up a little it's it's a pretty amazing uh, they're a great long-term bet um, but right now there's no big news going on although Sandridge uh, is up 1.5 percent today statistically speaking that's not a whole lot but at least they're up 
Um, as far as what you should be thinking about, Osage is up 7% for some reason, probably because pretty soon most people realize they're just a, they got a lot of oil in the Mississippi line play, which is here in Oklahoma, home to Boom U and OS Boom. We're trying that on today. Boom U and OS Boom. Let's see what we think of it. Um, nothing else big jumping in the midday uh, market report, uh, but the good news is, kids, we're only five minutes into it, which means I still have time to do a little uh, oil patch jazz. Uh, we're gonna. I, I can also tell you that in the Wall Street Journal today, there was nothing on cannabis. So there's, this is going to be a day more um, discussing the crude oil end. And we're going to get this lovely paper. You know it, you love it, you need it. You're getting ready to get oil patch jazz too. But before we go into that, uh, we're going to try and... Hey, uh, try and bring in some uh, musicians, uh, if we can ever get anyone to get on this show, for the love of Christ, folks, I'm begging you. We now have, by the way, 15 subscribers. God bless each and every one of you. We're loving you to death. Uh, here at the Buchanan Street Balcony, where the first annual bake-off will occur at some point. But first, let's knock out today's, uh, let me just quickly go through the crude oil stuff in today's Wall Street Journal. Nothing big, but definitely interesting. Check this out. Full page ad. In today's Wall Street Journal, really a pretty ad, by the way, with color. Uh, economics, creating environmental capital, an executive conference. So one of these big-ass fucking conferences, fucking spelled P-H-U-C-K-I-N-G. Uh, one of these big-ass conferences, the Wall Street Journal sponsoring it. And it's going to be a big deal. There's big hitters there. This is, this is reality coming together. This is how I'm going to describe this. And guess who's one of the major underwriters? There they are. Wait, boom! ExxonMobil, Boom! Major underwriter because um, they uh, understand the power and the passion for reality, which is why they're usually so damn successful long term. Uh, that said, so this is this is what's going on. Uh, big big news. Still still a big boom by the way. It's not going anywhere. And then here's a nice little lovely um, on the opinion page of today's Wall Street Journal. And I can promise you, I didn't know this was happening, but here it is, a, lo a lovely little piece by one of the senators here from uh, Oklahoma. Uh, good old uh, Jim and Hoff, and the other gentleman is Carl Levin or Levine. We'll figure it out, but it's fill her up with natural gas. Fill her up, kids, with natural gas. How Congress can encourage vehicles that run on America's fuel. So this is a uh, this is a piece that uh, obviously Mr. Inhoff, being a uh, senator from Oklahoma, it's in his best interest to promote what he thinks is a great uh, thing for Oklahoma and also the rest of the United States. And he's absolutely right, which is continue to shift from crude oil to natural gas. In consumption because it's cleaner and better and President Barack Obama coming into the house now and he's want to know uh, I don't know I talked to him they didn't know what to say uh, Michelle anyways he's we just had a little interruption there that may have been a little cosmic force but I'm pretty sure the presence of Barack Obama just Barack Obama just came sweeping through the transparent barrel anyway uh, fill her up with natural gas uh, Jim Inhofe so this is just a nice little piece talking about how natural gas would be great for the United States and the world and everyone else. Yeah, and it will be until we can, you know, move to solar and wind, and that'll take anywhere from two minutes to 200 years, so no one knows. Anyway, this is the grand unfurling here at the Transparent Barrel. This is why we do this show, the Confluence, to show you the absurdity of existence from behind the lens. There it is. Don't run away from it, from behind the lens. Um, so nothing real big in the Wall Street Journal, but um, we will have fun because now we get to pull the homegrown out, no pun intended. Uh, that's the homegrown newspaper, by the way. See how it's all just writing itself. And this is the Delhi Oklahoman's business section. And here's a nice report on Sandridge. Now, I want to read you something here. If we have, we probably don't have time. Ah, shit. Now, you go read it then. I want to go straight to Old Patch Jazz because I ain't messing around. And it may be the best part because you can always find some good, valuable stuff just by opening the newspaper. Okay, look. Oh, wow. Here's something that's almost a funny headline. Oil gas industry keeps expanding. Oklahoma's oil and natural gas industry continues to expand. No shit. Now they have the Oklahoma Energy Index, so we're going to start following this. That's priceless. PetroFlow seeks acquisition. Equal Energy will not pay out. Okay, I can't even keep up with it. Gulfport to buy more properties. This is good. This is good. Gulfport's a big player out of Oklahoma City. Huge position in Utica. One of the best performing stocks ever, by the way. Look it up. Just look it up if you don't believe me. Uh, they still got room to run here, and you're going to have to go figure out why because I don't have time to tell you, but trust me, good news on Gulfport. Um, let's see, how about, uh, anyone else? Newfield seeks high production. Newfield Exploration plans to operate eight rigs this year in Oklahoma's Anadarko Base in the fastest growing region. Okay, so the Anadarko Base, we talked about that. There's a new play there, and unit drilling's after it, too, so 
Looks like there's even new plays coming online in Oklahoma, which is pretty amazing. Simrex drills 149 wells. Um, BNK, BNK plans drilling program. BNK tested a new fracture stimulated method in Tish in the Tishomingo field. This is a California company, and they're going to drill in Tishomingo. That's wicked. So tons of shit going on. Clearly, this is a heavy day of crude. Um, oh, wicked! Here's the thing on the unit drilling we talked about, boss. Futuristic boss is newest tool in drilling tech trend. So the so wicked, great, great. So kids, uh, go read about this because this could pay huge uh, investment returns. And uh, we want to try. So there's so much shit going on. I can't keep up with it. And that shit, by the way, is spelled S C H I T T T. So you know that's T squared, T cubed. So go fuck yourself. Uh, Let's see if there's anything in before we go straight to oil patch jazz. You know what I'm bummed to tell you? I don't know if there is. There's got to be oil patch jazz today. Here it is. Boom. Huge. Okay. We're only, well, I don't know, 10 minutes into it. We can get through oil patch jazz. Trust me. And um, there'll be some beauties. I guarantee it. So bear with me. Take some Dramamine if you have to to calm yourself down. I know the, I know the video footage is getting a little crazy. Let's all just take a moment right now. There's plenty of time left. You only been here for 11 minutes. Just relax, refocus that mind. Here we go. Oil patch chance. Unbelievable. Alfalfa County. Chesapeake uh, hits one 340 barrels a day. The 340 uh, six pack was the greatest engine ever, by the way. Uh, Mid States Petroleum, 99 barrels. Mid States, 124. Beaver. Now remember, Beaver County is the Marmiton play. It's one of the plays and units in that. So, But this is Latigo. Latigo, 25 barrels a day. De Dewey County. Dewey County's wicked as shit. Maverick Brothers, great name. And they get 107 barrels a day. Pretty good. Now, here comes a great one. Check this out. Grady County. By the way, that's going to be a really hot area. You're going to see some badass drillers from Continental to EOG to this outfit. Vitruvian 2. This is great. Vitruvian 2 Woodford LLC. I bet you money that's a Wall Street uh, outfit that uh, backed uh, drillers. And I don't know that for sure. Don't listen to what I'm saying, by the way. Uh, Vitruvian, they hit 59 barrels a day. Now you go to K County, Maxim, Dry Hole, they only went down 4,200 feet, so it didn't cost them a whole lot, but it's still, they lost money, that's not good. Roger Mills, Chesapeake, 27 barrels a day, but 4 million cubic feet of gas a day, so there, there's plenty of potential there. Seminole, Dave Hulk, I see this guy a lot, 46 barrels a day. Stevens County, check this out, Vitruvian 2 is also in Stevens County, and they're hitting 50 barrels a day. Washita County, some say Washita, I think it's probably Washita. Chesapeake, um, hitting one for 40 barrels a day. And then Woods, that's northwest uh, Oklahoma, that's the Mississippi line play. Mid-states, you hear them a lot. 377 barrels a day, pretty goddamn good, kids. And another one is 358 barrels a day, pretty good. Both of those also, by the way, have over a million cubic feet of gas a day. And they went down about 11,000 feet. Um, you can probably do the math and figure out what's going on. Okay, more completions out of Carter County. Mac Energy, six barrels. Cle oh, shit. Welcome to the fucking boom, baby. Cleveland County now has a producing oil well. 175 barrels a day. They went down 7,700 feet, ranking energy. We could probably figure out what kind of profit that is, and the boom has now officially arrived at Boom U. Why? Because Boom U's right here in Cleveland County, motherfucker. You are in Cleveland County. So that's huge. Ellis County, I uh, told you Apache's going to drill there. They hit one for 288. They'll start locking. They'll start knocking them out. They'll start getting into the uh, four digits. I guarantee fucking they'll start getting 1,000 barrels a day. Uh, Chesapeake, 120 barrels a day. Kingfisher, BRG Petroleum, 20 barrels a day. Lincoln County, Rocks Exploration, nothing. Logan, Slauson. Slauson drills with Osage, folks, and you know who Osage is. Logan County, that's uh, north of here, north of uh, Boom U, up in Action, north of Action City. Uh, shit, we're getting close to 15 minutes. i got to finish this up. Slauson, Slauson, 45, Slauson, 124. Jones in Love County got 16 barrels. Uh, Rocks Exploration went into McLean County, got 20 barrels. Noble County, you got Marjo, hit a dry hole. That's not good. Barron Exploration, I know where they're headquartered. Wicked as shit. Uh, Oklahoma County, they didn't do anything. Barron, two barrels a day, that ain't bad. Barron, 248, boom. Okay, here's the deal. 248 barrels a day is pretty goddamn good. Um, and a barren exploration may be in Norm. We may try and interview them. And then Woods, Sandridge right there. Plug and abandon. Not good news for Sandridge, but that's all right. That's just one little teeny thing. There'll be more. We're about to hit 15 minutes. This was a strong post for the day. Midday report. We don't know when we'll see you next, but that's it. Three, two, one, boom.